We will now move on to the second task where we filter out a range of ages in an event visualization. Remember for this task, we want to view the conditions of malaria patients who are between the ages of 15 to 20. With the time frame of July to December of 2019, by districts in the food region. For this example, we will be filtering the events by age to only show the events of malaria cases within the specified age range and not the number of events per age group, which was shown in the event reports demonstration. To get started on our second example, we need to first open a new visualization. Then we need to select the chart type. In this example, we want to choose the line chart. In the data tab, we will again select the program and program stage malaria case management. Next, we will select the data elements, condition of patient, and age. Remember that for the age data element, we want to only show malaria cases who are aged between 15 and 20. Let's break the age range down more granularly. We want to show cases who are 15 years and older, but who are also 20 years or younger. To get this in DHIS2, we need to have two separate age filters. In the Selected Data Items section, click on Duplicate above the Age Data Item. Another age data item will appear. In the drop down for the age data items that specifies age range, change both of these to no range set. For the first age item, set the operator to greater than or equal to and enter a value of 15. For the second age item, choose the operator less than or equal to, and enter a value of 20. You can see that by having a duplicate age data item, we can set a lower and upper limit for the age value. Moving on to the Periods tab, use the Fixed and Relative Periods. Select the Six Monthly Period Type and find the period July to December of 2019. Also, ensure the tick mark next to the Relative Period last 12 months is not ticked. Next, in the Organization Unit tab, open up the Food Region and select all of the districts within it. Click on the Layout tab. Make sure that Age and Period are in the Report Filter dimension. The organization units are in the category dimension and the data element condition of patient is in the series dimension. Then click update. A line chart should now appear. The line graph will now depict the number of simple and severe malaria cases for people between the ages of 15 and 20 years old by district within the food region. Let's stop here so you can complete this section's event visualization activity and put your knowledge to practice.
make sure you keep your line graph open as we will be continuing to update it in the next video segment.